September 2012. Uh, I used to have, I made a bunch of other videos, wow, a year ago, um, talking about a few things. One thing I'm going to say, this is my newer channel that's taking the leap to the next phase, I guess, of actually doing some, putting into application prepper stuff, um, putting into application what I believe, even though I'm feeling I'm being kind of held back, putting into application just, I mean, for sure you gotta live your everyday life, but um, I'm just sharing some skills and that kind of thing, but um, my point to this video, and I don't want to ramble forever as I take an afternoon drive here in Southern Ontario, is um, no matter what angle or view you come from, if you hold some form of beliefs of not panicking, but um, that maybe it might be wise to put away for a rainy day some food or um, whatever that might be for yourself. Continue to live your everyday life. Go to your work. Go to your job. That's what keeps you in place. Um, pays your bills. All that kind of thing. You got to. But don't go and be buying five boats and all that. If you can use the money in a wiser way. I'm thinking also of my grandfather. He'd be actually over 100 right now, um, but was born and lived through the first depression. Um, he would definitely, I almost wish he, if he was still alive, I can guarantee he would be saying something about, and he would see this patterns and signs, which is with markets, etc. He was kind of interested in that stuff. Um, he would be telling people to put away for a rainy day. I know he would. Um, he was a smart, loving, wise man, um, and he lived in rural Virginia and saw what it affected there, and the area was already economically hit, and he saw how it really affected that area um, first time around in the early 20th century, um, and my grandmother, they even lost their house, so... Um, Patterns are there, signs are there. Uh, I'm in healthcare, I deal with patients who are 80 something, 90 something, and they bring up in conversation about the market. Um, it's just very interesting. Um, don't be negative, of course, but one can see, one can see that um, maybe this fall, maybe by next fall, for sure, there's gonna be another downturn. Um, I also work in another industry where I, I uh, run across many people from different companies in all different types of businesses, and um, they talk about it. Computers, well, I, whatever type of business, um, I see people from different areas. So my point is, it's out there, and it's not bad to, um, and I'm being very conservative here, have something for a rainy day. So those, and of course, keep your everyday life, be positive and don't dwell on it. I guess that's what I'm saying, don't dwell on it. That's what I've learned. But those around you, friends or family even, who sort of get it, or they might think, oh, I'm concerned for you. <laughs> oh, you know... Yeah, when you try to talk to some folks, it just don't work. So, my point is, this is my newer channel, I guess, taking it to the next phase of doing what you do and um, valuing all those, whether you come across, whether they you keep in touch with them or not, valuing those who you meet, who... Um, no matter from what background or angle they see things, um, who can, who've shared some things with you. So my point to this is keep your vision, whatever that may be. Um, and um, there's also all these things people say, self-fulfilling prophecies. If you're negative, the law of attraction, you'll just have all the negative stuff come towards you, blah, blah, blah. Well, you look at history, um, things do repeat. People in World War II, could have been the most positive thinkers in the world, but a war was going on around them. So if something's going to be maybe happening and you might see some economic signs, it might be good to be ahead of the boat. That's all I'm saying. So, I don't know. I just was slammed today, so 
Um, someone I hold very dear. So anyways, uh, yeah, just uh, keep positive. And uh, yeah, life has twists and turns. I'm going to shut up in about two seconds here. But um, yeah, just um, if something bugs you enough, then maybe something's telling you something. And I've met people of, I don't know, life's been very interesting. So I don't know, I've met people from different backgrounds and not just one quote unquote religious background who see this kind of thing. And um, so if you're being told something, maybe pay attention. That's all. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.